Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Sage and today we are starting Spooky Season with Until Dawn. So this game was voted highest on my poll for this month. I am a huge fan of horror films. It's one of my favorite genres, especially psychological thrillers, supernatural horrors. Yes, those, those are it for me. You know, I've always been the type that I could watch horror films in the dark by myself. Even as a kid, I, I loved watching horror films and I'd never get scared of them. I still have yet to find a movie that scares me, so. But in terms of games, I feel like I get scared easier with games. I guess it's because I can control the character and it almost feels like I'm experiencing it myself. So, yes. <laughs> I don't know why. Is anyone else like that? Like, uh, you can watch films and it nothing doesn't affect you in any way, but with games, you just get more freaked out. Just me? I don't know. <laughs> also, I definitely plan to play more horror games throughout the year. I'm not just going to keep it for October. That's no fun. <laughs> but I do have a few horror games to play. But yes, I know nothing of the game. I don't even know what it's about. But I think that's the best way to jump into a horror game, not really knowing what it's about and what's going to happen. So yes. I've also never really played a game like this of its kind, where uh, the choices you make can affect the outcome of the game, of the story. So that should be exciting. Uh, it's the first time for everything, right? So yes, I hope you guys enjoy and let's let's get jiggy with it. <laughs> Who says that now? <laughs> the butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. I remember Ashton Kutcher's movie. The swallow's decision can dramatically change the future. Very true. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. So choose wisely. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. No pressure at all. Okay, cabin in the woods. In the middle of a snowstorm. Wow, so we're jumping right into it. <laughs> Are they stuck there? I wonder. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. <sighs> Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because your class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. What are they planning? So with a game like this, how many possibilities are there? Or how many outcome <laughs> endings? <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. What are they doing? weekend Josh I would be a bit more concerned than that but okay Ooh. how 
Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike XXX. Oh, what a poet he is. You know, the sad thing is that it actually worked on Hannah. Oh, man. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Oh, Hannah. Ugh. Ugh. Intervention time. <laughs> Intervention time. Is there anything on this side? Wow, they partied hard! What's on this side? Okay. <laughs> We're back on schedule. That's weird. So the door is locked from the inside? Ooh, fireplace. Oh! <gasps> you can see the fireplace on both sides? What? That's fancy. <gasps> Yo, I'm jealous. Oh, that's so freaking cool. <laughs> Jeremiah Craig. Wow, these guys, they are snoring. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. And see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. No, Hannah, hold your horses, girl. Oh, she's got a she's butterfly. What? Oh my god. And the creeper. No, the what creeper with the camera, here? too. Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all got out of hand, but... That's messed up. Uh, Guys are jerks. You know that? Jerks. Hannah. No, that's not right. That's not right. To choose. Josh, let's go. Let's go help our sister. Josh. Josh. Fuck. Guys, there's someone hmm. outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. A what did prank? you do? We're just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You Oh, uh, you jerks! I can't stand people like that. So, should we go after her? Uh, someone I should go and help. The person she wants to see right now, Mike. I mean, true, but someone should help. <laughs> oh, Instead of leaving her out there alone. Also, guys, that's not a prank. That's what you call bullying. It's messed up. <laughs> Let's go to the noise. Damn it, Hannah. Jeez, Hannah. Oh! That was her! Uh-uh, I just saw her. Hannah! 
Also, Hannah, why would you run out into the middle of the forest at night? Like, girl, you're putting yourself in danger. Can't you, can't you, uh... Hide in the... <laughs> can't you hide in the bathroom? Or something? Why you gotta... Hello? Hello? Oh, what is that? Death totem. Wait, we both died. Huh? What is that? Hannah! How are you not more concerned? I would be freaking out. Jeez! What the hell was that? What the? That's so random. Ha Anna. Anna. Hello. Anna. Anna, you're oh crazy. God, I'm freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. Oh, dumb. Hannah, is that <laughs> oh, Oi, Hannah. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, felt like we both would have died regardless. The analyst. So either I die betraying my sister, or I die along with her. Before we begin, there are I don't know. <laughs> things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. Okay. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed Step your commands with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. He makes me nervous. Sometimes. He makes me uncomfortable. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up cart? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. 
it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Don't look at me like that. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. It makes me happy. I feel uneasy. Well, I don't exactly feel uneasy, but I also don't feel happy. I'm just neutral. Okay. I'll go with happy. Listen, Good. I'm from a farm, okay? <laughs> what way did it make you happy? It's calming. The sunshine. It's it's peaceful. Oh. Peaceful. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here all by yourself? Absolutely. Yes, it would. Huh. And what if I told you... I like you my solitude. ...that this cottage was haunted? Oh, yeah, I'd be scared about that. Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. <laughs> What's with your face? Oh, okay. Is the analyst our therapist? If so, I need to reconsider my life choices. So weird. Wow, the song's like, oh, death. <laughs> oh, death. Wow, so uh, the brother lost both of his sisters that night. Hayden Penitier, yeah. That's crazy. So they. I'm trying to get this straight. They they pranked her because she had a crush on Mike. That's wild. That's so weird. They were going to be in the room to watch her. That's Today's weird. One year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein. Mount Washington. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. I didn't realize they were twins. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's Josh. Do that again. All right. 
Well, hey, you can see the thumbprint and fans. on the screen. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Why would you even consider going back? Especially on the anniversary of their death. Like, I would, I would not go back. <laughs> That's wild. Of all the places you can see your friends. I don't know. Is that just me? I, 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 I couldn't. <laughs> Blackwood Pines. Man, he was drunk. He was drunk out of his mind and couldn't even couldn't even protect his sisters. Ten hours until dawn. Oh, is that the same person as beginning? <sighs> Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Hannah's best friend. Really? So you let your friend get pranked? Come on now. Why would you do that? I mean, I know she thought it was messed up, Hello? but still, she let it happen. There? Path to Cable Car Station. Okay. The gates busted, climb over, oh, Chris. Yeah, let's check to make sure it's actually busted. Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, we got a climb over. <sighs> let's be safe. You got a skirt on. Oh my gosh, these quick time. Climb. <laughs> Makes me so nervous. Why would you stand up like that?
Is that the same person? How did they... Oh. How did they make it to the other side so quickly? Aww. When they don't move... Hey, little fella. Don't move. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, that's going to make me so nervous in the future. <laughs> Current objective. Yes. Oh, what is this? Oh, so I need clues. Oh, the totems. Totem prophecies, death. The possible death of the person who finds it. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and prof premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Okay. Oh, here's a totem pole. <laughs> cool. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believe that butterflies carry dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Death. Black butterflies prophesied the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Okay. Oh, this one's yellow. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking a totem up and turning a little bit colored. Okay. Guidance totem. Okay, so we saw a bird and a guy, I think. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Okay. What is this? all the way up here passes beyond our control wait a minute isn't that what the analyst said so who am i that the analyst is analyzing i wonder i wonder Okay. Got this backpack. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? I'm not gonna snoop. Butterfly effects appears when your actions have changed the narrative of the game. Chris. Sam, hey. You hey. see? If I was snooping around, he'd be right there watching me. <laughs> Methodical protective humorous. Has a crush on Ashley. Okay. Oh, so I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Blow your mind.
blow your mind. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? What is that? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, oh. you, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. All right, here goes. Aim, press, okay. Practice. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, nah, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. No, -uh. no, I'm not doing it. Don't you dare ask me to. <laughs> I'm never going to. Nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> sacked. Sharpshooter, <laughs> ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. A lot of crows around. Very ominous. Is there something on this side? No. Okay. I just wanted to check. Man, it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Oh! Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came right back. Here goes fast. Wanted. Oh, Victor Milgram. Nice. You think we'll get a visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. It said, wanted in, con in connection with a first-degree arson offense, as well as various death threats. 1998. Victor Milgram. Collect clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chances of survival. I, I don't know how he keeps it all together. I... I'd be a wreck. Well, we're all just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Must be going through so much, and he seems like the kind of guy who's not gonna just ask for help, you know? Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Real gentleman. Oh, let's check in here. I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm trying to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium. What a crazy place! For a healthy to set body a and mind. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bottom mountain. Huh? Was that a bathtub? Right before it changed. Is that where we are now, or is that the cabin? I don't know. That was a bathroom, right? Ew, that's weird. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. 
Hmm, something's fishy. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, How's it the right thing working without anyone what? at the end? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, and I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly. Oh, I see what you did there. Butterfly effect. Jess, Mike's new Mike's new girlfriend? Wasn't her friend in a relationship with Mike? Hmm. Hmm. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. And didn't she... Wasn't the reason for... Pranking Hannah was because she had a crush on Mike. So she had a crush on Mike while her friend was in a relationship with Girl. Girl. Hmm. What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica, over here! Uh are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. I wasn't Please scared. <laughs> The mean oh girls. My God. The mean I girl. Honors. Another ten minutes in there, and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we? He's have? a real jokester, my isn't he? Goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class. Oh, she wrote Michael a love Rome. letter to Mike. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? Sizzling erotica? I wonder. Let's explain Mike ourselves. Split. We're together. Whoa. Huh? Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Huh. I wonder, are you guys still friends, though? All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Holy cow! To just stop and take it all in. So she basically Did waited. Didn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Mike's ex. Mike's ex. Emily. Yeah. The two mean girls. So her friend basically waited for her friend to break up with her boyfriend so that she can take in. <laughs> take him. Oh, what a dynamic this group is. 
intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't like Emily or Jess Sika. Been like as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Oh, ambitious actor. Oh, wasn't he the creeper with the camera? <laughs> no. And where's the bellboy when you need oh, one? Oh gosh, the bellboy, girl. <laughs> your boyfriend seems to be your bellboy. Chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> oh! <Jesus. laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. <laughs> Intelligent, driven, persuasive. I don't see it. <laughs> you guys. I don't Michael. see the attraction. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously? What's wrong with you? I'm just trying <laughs> to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. You always get like this. Uh, let's, Michael, let's be nice. I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. So we're good? All good? I recognize him. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, oh god. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. Right. See you, man. See ya. Right. See ya. Isn't he like a dancer, singer, that actor? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Oh, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Girl, you ain't full of no one. We know that you're gonna go, <laughs> go to Mike, see your ex. Okay, fine. All right. Fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. Watch. Uh, it. You owe me she one. seems like the type. Excuse me? Well, the more even, at least. I'll think about she it. She seems like the type who would Just get defensive. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Ugh. Mmm. These are very unlikable characters. <laughs> Did I ask how old they are? Are they high school or college students? Hmm. <gasps> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, forthright. Oh, so they both have a crush on each other. Well, that's good. Washington Lodge grounds. Whoa, uh -huh. somebody's getting a little friendly. Got caught in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. Hmm. <sighs> oh! Oh, <God. laughs> hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, what? man. <laughs> Scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real scare you. Oh my you. gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, damn. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, oh! <laughs> um, mm. She seems like the type who would try to... Not want to hurt him, right? Yeah, it's 
kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just. What? Mm, I feel like I should tell I feel him like though. A cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. Yes, let's tell him. He needs to know. He's gotta know. Um, sure. Help yourself. Gotta know what kind of girl oh. Emily is. Oh, bitch. <laughs> Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Wow. Nothing well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. I... Damn it. Wow, caught him hugging too. Uh, Upper cable car station. Let's let's uh let's check your phone. You've probably been checking your phone all night. Oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see it. We've got you surrounded. Mike. The hell am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? A supple young... Uh, run. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Sing! Sing! <laughs> Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah! Oh, uh, wait! Hey! Oh, snap! Missed again, sucker! <laughs> Hello! Oh! Was that the- that was the bird from the totem? Okay. Now you got me. Sometimes doing nothing is the right thing to do. Hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. No, I ain't doing it. Animals don't deserve that. You do, though. Whoa! Wow. Right. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> Gotcha. Done. Done city. Done city. <laughs> did I go down? <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right. All right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. My lady. Um... That is such a awkward, unnatural position to be in. Wow. Save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Endless yeah. reserves. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here. Oh, no. Ever, provided I was... I'd like to be in the warm. Out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd rather be in the warmth of the cabin. Who is that? Hello again. Hello, sir. It looks different. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Your office looks different. It's much you know, last darker. You established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, mm. we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages, you will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. <sighs> Do 
Men worry me. Women worry me. Um... Okay. Ooh, crowds. <laughs> I fear heights, I fear drowning. Drowning. I think snakes are scarier than rats. You know, we used to have a, a pet snake in my family. A boa constrictor. Guns are scary. Knives are scary. I'll go with knives. Uh, I, s I still think snakes are... The classical music does not fit. I feel like I should say clowns because the first image that he showed us at the farm, I said that it made me happy. So I feel like if I chose that I was scared of scarecrows, I wouldn't be consistent. Hmm. I'll go with clowns even though personally I'm not scared of them. Gore disgusts me. Crows are scary. Gore. Oh. Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Why would you do that? Don't be nervous. Why would you do that? Try to you. Speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Okay. <sighs> Snakes scare me. Spiders are creepy. Mm. Let's be consistent. <laughs> I don't fear needles, but... I'd say zombies. <sighs> storms scare me, Gora. I love storms. Thunderstorms are so calming. Very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, zombies, and awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. Once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. Okay. I look forward to it? Not really. His office is different. Wasn't there a picture behind him? Hmm. Hmm. Wondering, I really want to spend some it time. looked like I'm the person was actually trying to help Beth sure. when she was hanging we'll never forget. on the branch. Sure. So I'm wondering, is that the same person that has been following us? Son of a bitch. So, 
I got moved to the back. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I'm kind of confused. Oh. Butterfly effect. And what is that that was seeing in red? Man, I feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb Darkness. it. Darkness. Oh, yeah. That feels the same to me. Hannah and Beth's brother. Thoughtful, loving, complex. Josh. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Oh, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Everyone's very tense. Yo, yo, you mean you get things moving up here or what? Yeah, ma'am. Uh. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Hmm. Huh. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like get open or something. Wait a second. Are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey. Not if I don't report you. Um <laughs> Lead the way, coaches. Me? Shouldn't it be you? It's your place. Hi, Chris. Two that have a crush on each other. Let's be confident. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Let's cuddle with each other. Where's the other two? Oh. Wait, I see stuff glistening. Hold on. Hold on a moment. There's a lot of choices. Let's talk to Sam first. No. Oh. See Nash yet? Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. <laughs> how's, uh, how's she doing? Uh, She's fine. Why, why? Why? Why are you making no, it weird? That was so random. Wait, there's something there. Can I get to it? Oh, it's him. Matt! Been a while. Rough season, huh? Yeah. Something like that. Uh. Hey, you okay, man? Some people, you know? You think you know them? Okay. <laughs> tough crowd, tough crowd. There were. Oh, that's a totem. I didn't notice the totem there. Oh, yellow. <laughs> Guidance totem. Wait, what? Someone lost some fingers. How is that? A vision of guidance for a future choice. What? How do these work? Chris was happy to see Sam. Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris continued to trust Sam. Chris was happy to see... Oh, rats with bushy tail. Nature remained in balance. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. 
the soul of discretion, Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. Ashley encouraged Matt to use his telescope. Are you saying I shouldn't have? Oh man. I was trying to be a good person. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? Now I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? That's weird. But I feel like I don't want to cause any conflict. <laughs> um... Let's just be on people's good side, right? I don't know. Absolutely. When are you gonna uh, take her to the bone zone? The like, bone zone? Could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. <sighs> Maybe you're right. You're a hunter, bro. No fear, no mercy. I mean, she won't even know what hit her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I got it. Jeez. I only chose those options to so be planning on, breaking into my on Josh's heart, good Josh. side. <laughs> I don't want to cause any weird, any weird like you had a plan. tension. I don't agree with those, uh... Likes cool buns. Wow, I don't like Josh. That's weird. Turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside where I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone talk? What? Why? Axe holder. That's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I can do all this stuff. And well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge. The axe is missing though. An app that can get you laid. Well, actually, dude, there's this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. The app that can get you laid. Is there anything up here? No. So the axe is missing? Who has it? Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. Why am I doing it? Shouldn't it be Josh? Dude, this is your place. Oh, I'm okay. Should have paid more attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. How Here. How convenient. What's this? Always gotta have no light in a horror game, right? Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's a, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we did with the Lormy dudes. Yep. Flamethrower. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. That's funny he says that oh, because we've seen a. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. 
Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> Godspeed, Pilgrim. Seriously, it should be Josh doing this. How do I know where to look? Also, it's really funny he said flamethrower because we saw that at the beginning. <sighs> Was that brown? Lost totem. Oh, that was... That was Emily, wasn't it? Okay. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. What is that? Ex janitor convicted for arson swears revenge on movie mogul's family. Is that the same guy? What was his name? Victor? The warning sign that we saw in the beginning? Ex janitor? Interesting. Family portrait. Hmm. Wait, does it say something about... A portrait of the Washington family. Hannah is wearing a distinctive locket. Oh. The door just closed by itself? What? It's not weird at all, is it? How'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. Okay, the creepy whispering sounds. It's unnecessary. It's creepy. <laughs> and unnecessary. Okay, is that it? Did someone just break the window? TV? I'll just start, make sure. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, never mind. Okay, let's go here. Oh. What is this? Free man. 
We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. Uh, was that about the ex janitor? I guess? Hmm. I wonder if that's the same guy that was trying to... Oh. That's creepy. <laughs> that was trying to help Beth. Right? It looked like he was trying to help. He was reaching his arm out. You know, it's just weird that all the doors are... locked. Prom night photo. Ready for the senior prom. <sighs> Wait, that was that was Hannah, Sam, Mike, and Emily. A photo. Okay. Oh, I can't go through there. Okay. Creepy, creepy. You know, I actually love cabins. <laughs> I always dreamed of having a cabin in the woods. Um. Oh, that's art. Hold on, hold on. Oh, that's where we came in. Um, I saw something down here. Whoa. Is he here? I've always dreamed of having having a cabin in the woods. Um But I I a friend of my mom who has a cabin was telling me about the upkeep and the maintenance, and it just sounded Sounded like too much work. <laughs> but I think cabins are beautiful. Ooh, especially in the fall season. <laughs> Against the backdrop of a uh, fall leaves. It's so pretty. But I, I would definitely love a cabin. A cabin or a uh, a cottage. I would love a cottage. Cottage in the woods. Oh, the siblings. Josh with his loving sisters. Making. looking great, right? Is that what I said? Looking great? Looking great, guys. It was taken the summer before they disappeared. So, their bodies were never found? Yeah, see, I don't get it. All the, all the doors are locked. So, we saw them die, but they never found their bodies. Did someone just move their bodies? Interesting. Oh, creepy, 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 creepy. Okay. Now it looks like we can go upstairs. My goodness, this place is huge. Let's go this way first. OK. 
okay. There's nothing. What about on this side? Oh, I found another clue? Is that what it is? Wait, 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 wait. Winner, best horror film. An award for a movie that Josh's dad directed. Director Bob Washington. Blood Monastery. <sighs> okay. Okay, before we go there, let me see if there was anything else. That's... How... How? How is there a window open? Shouldn't there be snow inside? If that's the case. Okay, I guess there was nothing. I mean, I would- I would close the window <laughs> if that were me. Okay. Wait, is there something here? No. Hold on. Anything here? Okay. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Isn't that the bathtub that was in the security camera? They have cameras in here? There is a- there is a camera in here, isn't there? Right? I'm pretty sure that was the... Ooh, ooh, someone's snooping. <laughs> Jeez, what was that? What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? <sighs> Perfect. Okay. We're freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. Ah! <laughs> Crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or a tiger or something. Yeah, that was way too small. Cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. Wolverine? Boy, soon. Wow, that thing was stuck inside the cabinet. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Mm-hmm. Mm Make yourself at home, bro. Will do. Yeah. Come on in. 
Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? <laughs> oh, easy there, cowboy. Let's challenge him. What the hell were you doing with M out on the trail? What? I saw you and M. Through the telescope. Before? We just ran into each other. It's been a while, so we hugged and I said hello. Is that against the law? Oof. Okay. Let's defuse the situation. Let's not right. <laughs> cause any. Yeah. Duh. Sorry, it's been kind of a long day. I overreacted. Nah, man. Don't worry about it. Be cool? Yeah, yeah, totally. Watch yourself, Mike. Watch yourself! Oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? <gasps> Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dream boat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Holy cow, these girls. Ah, uh, yes, diffuse. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who can put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such Seriously. a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0 bitch, on a roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Emily, stop. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why are you picking fights over your ex-boyfriend, huh? Stop it! This is not why we came up here. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. If we can't get along for ten minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Wow. <laughs> Any place without that whore. It's right up the trail. <gasps> These girls are crazy. Glad that's over. Yeah. Listen. So, Josh, uh, <laughs> should we get this fire going? I, Where's my bag? I can't deal. My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my god, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Well, do I... Do you? Oh my gosh. You must have left it down by the cable car station. Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh gosh, these girls are exhausting. People like that okay, exhaust the hell out of me. Listen, I'm an introvert. <laughs> I can't oh. deal. <laughs> Exile. I can't deal. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we have Of course you would know, right, Mike? Feeling looks on our side. Probably took Emily last time. Maybe you will get lucky. 
Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn stars? I paid to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Oh my gosh, girl! Uh, him up with us? Wait, really? <laughs> no. Oh, Jess. <laughs> You're so full of yourself. Oh, Jess. Oh, boy. Those girls are my least favorite characters. Including Mike. And Josh. Josh is kind of... There's something off about Josh. I cannot quite put my finger on it. Oh, the report covers a court case related to Blackwood Pines. An old janitor tried to burn the place down and the dog he swore revenge on the Washington family. Victor, oh yeah, it is. Oh, Victor Milgram. 52 was yesterday sentenced to 16 years in prison for aggravated arson committed on Blackwood Pines. Milgram was employed as a janitor of the Mountain's Old Hotel for 28 years. However, when Hollywood producer Bob Washington acquired the property, Milgram was fired. In a sensational twist, the sentencing ended with an enraged Milgram screaming obscenities at Washington's heavily pregnant wife, Melinda, calling her an effing whore. He vowed to get, he vowed to get all of you, your effing husband and kids, and said that he would make them suffer. Melinda had visibly struggled to maintain her composure throughout the case, and later claimed that Though she was upset by Milgram's threats, she had full faith in the legal system to keep her and her family safe. I'm interested in this part where it said, um, it said, Bob Washington acquired the property. Didn't they say in the beginning that the property is... Indigenous land? And did they say that Victor, the land belonged to his forefathers? That's probably why he was pissed. Matt confronted Mike. Matt saw Mike and Emily flirting. Whose side? Oh, I didn't choose correctly on this one. Matt sided with Jessica during the fight. Oh, man. Oh, man. Damn. Okay. I didn't do that one so well. Okay. Okay, so we're not on good terms with, uh, with, uh, Emily at the moment. But, I mean, we saw her hugging her ex. <laughs> so whose fault is it really? Alright, guys, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, we're still in the beginning of the game, so not much is happening at the moment. I'm looking forward to all the scary parts that's gonna come up. Uh, we did have a few jump scares here and there, but, uh, at the moment, it's slow. So far, most of the characters are unlikable. <laughs> I definitely don't like the Mean Girls. I also don't like Mike. And Josh. There's something off about him. I know he's going through the loss of his sisters, but there's still something about him that I can't quite put my finger on.
Uh, the only characters that I'm okay with are Sam, Ashley, Chris. He's kind of a jokester, but um, he's fine. And Matt. Also, the analyst is very weird. I don't know if he's our therapist, but yes, he's just he just makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> and I always feel judged when I'm answering his questions. Like, I don't know if I'm answering correctly. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Very interested to see where this game goes. I don't really have much to say about it yet. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!